Hi, I'm Thanos. Today we're going to travel to London again. This time we're going to go on the underground. The world's first underground passenger railway and one of the most complex transportation systems in the world. Then we're going to go to Berlin, to one of the world's oldest underground, the U-Bahn. This is the Kickstarter Deluxe edition of the game with exclusive components and a mini expansion for solo mode. So, let's dive into the box and see what's hiding inside. The London Underground is the world's first underground passenger railway, having opened in 1863. Its 11 lines move about 5 million passengers a day to 270 stations along 400 km of track. The massive network of London Underground stations makes up one of the most complex transportation systems in the world and on the Underground challenges you to develop it. Build the most successful lines, connect them to landmarks and attract passenger traffic. In On the Underground, the players build the underground lines in London or the U-Bahn lines in Berlin. Each player controls two to four different lines depending on the number of players. On each turn, four destination cards are available, corresponding to stations on the map. You can take up to four actions. An action is either building track by placing one of your track tokens on the board or taking a branch token. A 
player may use to branch tokens to branch out of an existing line, whereas normally lines can be extended only at the endpoints. After each player's turn, a passenger token is moved along player's lines, avoiding walking as much as possible to reach one or two destinations determined at the beginning of the turn. The destination cards corresponding to the visited stations are then replaced by new ones, then the next player takes their turn. Players score points in two ways, by having the passenger use their lines when moving, by building track and connecting their lines to various types of stations, by building a circular line in London, or at the end of the game if they have collected tiles from specific landmark stations in Berlin. After all destination cards have been drawn and all players have taken the same number of turns, the game ends. Differences from the first edition of On the Underground. For the first turns only, the first player takes 3 actions and the last player takes 5. The passenger is no longer removed from the board immediately when the draw deck is empty. There is a new Berlin map along with its corresponding cards and tiles. On the London map, some single connections have been made double and one double connection has been made triple and a few ones along with the new cross station has been removed. Well, this was our unboxing story of On the Underground. Until our next unboxing adventure, take care and keep on trying till you reach your highest ground.